right here, of course, if you would have got in on NVIDIA right at the open somewhere in here, doesn't really matter. Um, right here, you had a pullback. This is obviously a danger zone. Plus, you can see it's pulling back. I would not, um, I would not question you if you got out. Then you would have looked at this. This would have been the next entry somewhere in here. Same thing. It comes up. It breaks above VWAP. I would have gotten out. Then it did it again. The reason I'm showing you this is because this can happen over and over and over and over and over until it bangs, right? So you've got one trade here, two trades here, three trades here, and it goes off flat, and I would have got out. This never grew. I didn't enter. Here's your two-minute EWO. Now, remember, I do not like to trade anything that sits around VWAP because it can't make a decision, right? But... I'm just showing you an example because let's say you did get into every one. Here's your fourth trade. You got into this trade, right? Um, so here's your fourth trade. Same thing. Doesn't really do anything. You get in this one. Doesn't really do anything. Five, six. This could have been possibly up to seven trades. It really could have, right? Unless, of course, um, you're like David or Eric or something that does not really sweat you know, this stuff out and then you hold it the whole time. And again, though, I wouldn't blame you because the rule should be if it breaks below VWAP, get out because it could have easily, uh, you know, got done something stupid. So I, I always err on the side of caution first. But what I'm trying to show you is sometimes you can get frustrated and be in these moves until it does this move, right? And then, of course, this one right here, paid for your last 50 trades you know what i mean <laughs> yes, sir. so sometimes you just have to be patient sometimes it doesn't go as smooth as you want sometimes it doesn't do this right sometimes you don't get this and sometimes you have to go through and you got to struggle you know struggle bust through some of the goofy stuff that happens so look at coin same thing here right uh at the open it popped you're like yay i'm getting in right it's somewhere on this candle and then it pulls back and you're like come on man then you get in a put and you're like yay this is awesome nothing you get in here flat right you're like damn it it just keeps bouncing around now you would have made a tiny bit here but who cares but this one that's the meal ticket right so sometimes you could have possibly, I mean, if you were trading this whole thing, one, two, three, possibly four. Uh, that one looks the same. Five. This one could have been six trades on a two-minute EWO, right? And again, then. So this is what we like to do. Now, this is off the two-minute EWO, obviously. But again, I just need you guys to know, like, some of you are like, damn it, every time I get in and it just goes against me. Well, go in it again, and then again, and then again, and then again, and then again, until it does what it's supposed to do, right? Now, if we break this down into the two minute, this is also going to help either give you strength or weakness inside of your trade. That was the trend. Then it did this. Then you, you know, there's no trend in here. It's flat. Then you would have drew a trend line and you would have went, this is garbage, right? <laughs> and then... Like, is that a trend line? Is that your trend line? Right? If you're looking at overall trends, you see it going down. So if we start to look at trend lines to go with all of our other strategies, now look at this trend line for strength. Okay? So even if you started it here like this, look at that trend line. Is that, is that bullish or bearish? So that's nice. And then you got another one right here bang right and then you got another one right here but as this is going you're like holy crap but do you see how all of this is starting to work in your favor and then as you're drawing out your bigger line you know time frame it looks like this right when we get into here so this thing there we go right it just keeps up 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 never touching back down to vwap it never comes back to vwap right ever it just never comes back. So again, if you were patient and you waited, you're golden. Now, if you guys are have been in my VIP longer than two minutes, you know that we look at this 
the trend to the upside and then this starts to fall downhill right and you're like oh no sign of weakness it isn't because if you bought it in here right and it fades starting to fade uh at this point are you worried when you bought it here to here not at all nope so this could be like you know what coach this is where i will shave 50 percent of my position right because maybe you're like eh I'm questioning it. Whatever it is, even though we're nowhere near VWAP, so what? If that's what you did, okay. Then it continues to run, and it pulls back. You get scared again. 20%. I'll shed more. It goes up. It pulls back again. You're like, I don't know. Maybe this is the big one. You shed 20% more. Now all you have is 10%, and I guarantee you with your 10%, you don't care about any of these moves. Am I right? And this is why, though, when some of you are like, yeah, but coach, you said if it goes downhill, meaning it's starting to lose steam, get out of it. That's only in the beginning of the trade. If it did it here and it immediately came back down and it started to come back to where you bought it, well, of course we look at it. The higher it goes away from us, the less we worry about what's going on down here, right? Obviously, it's a good indication. Just like here, if this would have turned green to red, right, but I bought it here, I really don't care, do I? Unless it starts to break down below VWAP or do something that's then going to show that it's a bearish position. Does that make sense? Otherwise, let it go. Let it run. Let it do its thing, okay? Hopefully that makes sense.